What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back ahead again with another video. So, we're back with another preview and predictions for this year's Survivor Series. I'm definitely looking forward to Survivor Series this year because of the War Games matches and also the speculation of maybe CM Punk returning and the fact that we finally get to see Randy Orton back in some action, back out here giving the RKO's, man, especially to Rhea Ripley hopefully we're gonna keep our fingers crossed but we're gonna go through the matches and I'm gonna give my preview and predictions who's gonna win who's gonna lose why and why not and you guys join in in the conversation in the comments down below as well so let's get started with the women's war games match with Bianca Belair Charlotte Flair Becky Lynch Shotzi and versus uh damage control which consists of Bailey EO Sky Kyrie Sane and Asuka now this one the, I think the main story here that they're trying to tell the main story I feel like is what's going on here is the fact that EO has a lot more power than she did when she was by herself well not by herself but when she was initially you know brought in to you know damage control or whatnot Bailey seemed like the leader she seemed like she had more of the control over the group but now as Kyrie Sane got into the mix and as Asuka has joined them it doesn't seem like Bailey has the complete control that she once had and you can kind of tell because they start to speak in their native language and Bailey doesn't really know what's going on she thinks she knows what's going on but she doesn't she didn't know about the Kyrie Sane situation. She really didn't know that was even playing out. She didn't know about the Oscar joining them as well, but she kind of played it up like she did. And I like the fact that I do think at some point in this particular match, there's going to be some miscommunication and it may result in Bailey catching the beats. I think the ultimate goal here is Bailey may end up getting kicked out out of damage control so and i think that may be the reason why they lose i i don't not to say that they couldn't win but i do think the reason they may lose is because bailey's not sure what's going on here and eo Kyrie, and oscar say all right enough's enough we need to stop playing around let's get her out of here so i do think bailey may catch the beats in this situation and I do think they're going to start some type of story with Bailey and EO. And I think that's going to be the reason why the baby faces, Bianca, Charlotte, and uh, Becky and Shotzi, will win the match because they're not on the same page. They look like they're on the same page, but it's really EO, Kyrie, and Asuka that's on the same page. And Bailey is just there. So I do think that Bailey is going to potentially catch the beats. And, you know, she's going to be by herself because Dakota can't even really help her. She's not even fit to wrestle like that. So she's still injured. So she's going to be by herself, essentially. And she probably will end up getting jumped. And she may, Bailey may be the reason that they lose. She may end up being the one to get pinned. And then they decide to go ahead and uh, pack her up. So I am looking forward to that. Just off the, the premise of, What's going to happen with damage control? Do I feel like this match needed a war games? Not per se, but I understand why it's happening. And I do feel like the bigger story here is Bailey getting kicked out of damage control or being attacked. So we'll see if that does happen, but it does seem like that's the route they're going. So I'm going to have the baby faces winning on the women's side of the war games because of some type of issues between Bailey and EO and the rest of the group. And maybe Bailey being the one to cost them that match. So definitely I uh, think the, the baby faces will win the women uh women's uh war games match. All right, we're gonna go with Santo Escobar versus Carlito. Now I did enjoy Santo Escobar's heel promo. Very good. He was getting some real good heel heat. That is what you want. It's 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 one of those things with Ray. You betray Ray. You become a, a very uh, hated individual. And that's a good thing to get somebody over. Um, 
I like the fact that Carlito did call him out a couple weeks ago saying you're the reason why Ray lost the United States Championship and, and Santos being very disrespectful. Like, damn, you bringing in this new guy, Carlito. I always had your back, all this other stuff. And now he wants Ray to permanently be injured. It's, it's, it's all good. And I think even though we just got Carlito back in the WWE, I think you go with Santos Escobar winning. You have to go with him winning this match. You do. Because he's in, he's back to his heel-like persona, but it seems even more personal. And he has some issues with Carlito. I think you have Santo Escobar go heel. I mean, not go heel, but win this match. It just makes sense. I think Carlito can take a loss here. Obviously, it wouldn't be a clean loss. I would have Santos cheat in some sort of fashion, do something behind the ref's back to protect Carlito, but I'm going with Santos uh, to win this because you want to continue to build up this heel persona. So when Ray does come back, then we can have that, that, that feud between him and uh, Santos and uh, Ray and see how that plays out. But right now to build up Santos while Ray is out, have him continue winning as a heel cheating, doing whatever he has to do. So I'm going with Santos for, on that match. Um, the Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Starks. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm all for, you know, Triple H trying to get more uh, newer stars in the mix. I get it. I'm here for it. Her winning that battle royal to be the number one contender, that was kind of, I wasn't expecting it. But I just don't think it's her time. I think it, it was a little bit too soon. And I get it. You got to sometimes put someone in the deep end and figure out either if they're going to swim or sink. And it's just her promos aren't really there right now. And that's something she has to work on. I'm sure she will get there over time. Her in-ring ability isn't that bad. I love her finishing move, by the way. Um, but we know Rhea's not losing this. And Rhea doesn't even have to cheat to beat Zoe. Like, I'm just keeping a buck. Like, Rhea shouldn't have really... It should be a fight, but it shouldn't take that long. I'm going to just be honest with you. If Raquel... You know what I'm saying? Put up a, a, a pretty strong fight against Rhea and she still end up losing. Of course, Zoe's going to lose here. So I, I would have picked someone else to be in this spot because once again, I don't think fans are even really too much caring about this particular match or Zoe as, you know, the person trying to dethrone uh, Ronda. Uh, not Ronda, uh, Rhea. Uh, I think people, if anything, are going to cheer for Rhea Ripley. She's going to be the baby face in this match, and she's going to easily retain. It shouldn't take that long. This should be the sh one of the shortest matches on the damn card, honestly. So going with Rhea Ripley, obviously, to retain, and uh, we're going to move on to the next one. The Intercontinental Championship, Gunther versus The Miz. Now, this should be quite entertaining. Maybe match of the night, potentially. Gunther doesn't really have bad matches. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. And when The Miz actually wants to go, he can actually go in the ring. He's actually pretty decent in the ring. The promos they've had back and forth have been really, really good. I'm still going to go with Gunther to retain. It's just, it's not his time to lose. But I am starting to see cracks, not in Gunther per se, but in his henchmen, in Imperium. And that's where I think that may be the catalyst to him at some point maybe losing. Because even though, and I, I love this about Gunther's title reign, he doesn't need their help. He's beaten them to everybody without their help. And I love that. I love that. He beats you because he's just that, he's better than you. And he shows it in his, in his reactions. He shows it. And even in this segment in program with the Miz, he just has this smug look like, yeah, I know who you are. I know your accomplishment, but you're a fucking joke still at the end of the day. Like, I'm still much better than you. And he's done that with a lot of his opponents. He doesn't need them, but I do feel like them, Gunther kind of pitting his henchmen against each other may ultimately cost them down the line. So I, I want to see how that's going to play out. I don't think it's going to, matter too much in this particular match but i do feel like gunther will retain i do feel like it should be a, a back and forth and gunther's gonna you know make the miz look like he could possibly pull off a very big upset but i think gunther will ultimately 
overcome the Miz and uh and uh pin them clean, honestly. And we'll go on to our our you know our next feud. I don't know if they're gonna run it back, but we'll see who will be the next challenger uh for Gunther. But I do not think the Miz is winning this. Gunther will retain. And of course, the men's war games match. Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, and your boy Randy Orton versus the Judgment Day, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio, JD McDonough, and Drew McIntyre. This match right here, I have been thinking about all week, trying to figure out who's going to win here. This is not as easy. This is not cut and dry. This is really not cut and dry. And they can get creative on this particular match because it can go both ways. It really can. The baby faces can win here or the heels can win here. There's no right or wrong answer here, in my opinion, because a lot of people can be protected. It depends on who eats the pin. Um, let's start with the Judgment Day and the issues there. Obviously, the Judgment Day have some turmoil as well. Like They like to pretend storyline wise that everything's good but it's not because damian priest does feel like he's the leader and i like how cody has been planting that seed like you're mr money in the bank but you're not the leader you're mr money in the bank but you're not the leader of the group it's Rhea. so damian priest is starting to feel like i should be the leader and he's acting that way while finn balor is feeling some type of way because they've agreed there's really no real leader leader even though it's still real um so there's that dynamic and i'm very interested to see how that plays out because i do feel like that could be the key that cost them the match here so that you can really build off of that it's like the babyface side of things oh not even that before we even get to the babyface side of things drew mcintyre doesn't really like any of them he's only there to destroy jay uso and that can cause some clash between Damian Priest and Drew McIntyre because Drew, well, Damian Priest has made it very clear you cost me the World Heavyweight Championship, Drew. So there's still some issue there. So that could be another reason why they don't win either. Now let's go back over to the babyface side of things. The main reason why they possibly could not win that match and be dead honest with you is because of the person they've added, Randy Orton. Randy Orton is only looking out for Randy Orton. We've all known that. And I can tell you this now, tell you this now, he could be the reason why they lose. Because once again, if you watch Monday Night Raw as it went off the air and we found out Randy Orton was the fifth member, Jay wasn't too excited. Everyone else was. Jay wasn't because we know Jay has history with Orton. The bloodline was the reason per storyline wise, Randy Orton was written off TV. So. Obviously, there's going to be some tension there. There's going to be some tension there. And I do think Randy Orton being the snake that he is, I do feel like maybe at some point in the match, he ends up RKO and Jay Uso. He ends up RKO and Jay Uso, and maybe maybe Drew McIntyre pins Jay Uso. Maybe he lets Drew McIntyre pin Jay Uso for them to win the match. And he's just sitting there. You know, so that can be a thing too. You know, there's this, or he can turn on Cody, or he can turn on Seth. There's he can turn on a lot of people in this match. So that's that would be my only thing is Randy Orton costing them the match, or they do win the match and then he still RKO's maybe Cody, or he still RKO's Jay Uso, one of the baby faces, and at the end of the match. So that can be a thing too you know i also do feel like rhea ripley will get involved in this match i hope she does because once she gets involved in this match you know what's gonna happen you know what needs to happen as long as i see randy orton rko rhea ripley out of this match like send her to the gulags with that rko as long as i see that i don't give a fuck who wins or lose <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10 pay-per-view like what are we talking about so if i really had to choose and this has really been tough i'm probably most likely gonna go with i still think judgment day is gonna win i think judgment day is going to win they're gonna have some issues but i do think maybe randy yorton even though he is a good option to have 
He has history with some of these individuals. And I do think Randy Orton may be the one that cost them. That's just me. I just, it's just, we know Randy. He's, he's one of those people. He don't forget, you know? So I'm going with judgment day winning because of Cody calling in Randy Orton. And you can build off a feud off of that with Cody. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe they go some other route. I don't know, but I do think, I just have a feeling that uh, that um, Judgment Day will win here. As long as Rhea catches RK, uh, RKO for her troubles, I, I really don't give a damn. Man. I just think it's going to be fun and uh, very interesting. So I'm going with the heels winning on this one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't know. It's just, I have that feeling <laughs> that Randy's just going to portray boys. It's, that's what I, I have. Uh, that suspicious feeling suspicious feeling but comment down below let me know who do y'all think is going to win their uh, respective matches who do y'all think is going to lose why and why not man and if you guys are looking forward to the survivor series as much as i am because i definitely am looking forward to it and will we see a returning cm punk i haven't really even mentioned it don't know where they would fit him in the card but will we see a returning cm punk we will find out. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.